Today I'm going to share the most overpowered way of generating appointments for your agency. It's something that barely anyone speaks about, but yet it's the most powerful way of doing it. Like no joke, the metrics are insane. What you can expect from actually if you apply what I'm about to show you in this video is a 91% open rate, a 21% reply rate and a 4.5% booking rate. It is crazy. So a lot of people talk about cold emails, uh, you know, cold calling, but this is probably the fastest way to get clients and cash in your pocket. So I'm going to be explaining really simply because it doesn't have to be complicated like these other videos. I'm going to, I'm literally going to show you step by step how to build the workflow and how to actually send out the SMS. So the first thing you're going to want to do, right, is buy a phone number. Now I'm inside high level. If you don't have a high level account, then I'll leave a link to it in the description. You can get 14 days completely free. Um, yeah. So once you're in high level, you're going to buy a number. Now you do this by clicking add number here. You find this by actually going to settings, uh, phone numbers, and then you add a phone number. You can basically buy a phone number from any country, any state. You just go here, click whatever, you know, UK, Switzerland, Sweden, USA, uh, choose what state you want and then buy it. Now, once you've done that, now I'm going to head over into a brand new sub account because I'm actually going to build the workflow and show you exactly what it looks like and how to do it. Now I'm in a new sub account and I'm going to show you how to create a workflow and then how to actually build it out really easily. So yeah, you want to go down here, go to automation, go to create workflow, and it's going to show you a bunch of different templates that you can use, but we're actually going to start from complete scratch um, because it's probably a really easy workflow to do. Um, so press continue. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do once it loads is just put a title so you know which workflow it is. So let's call this SMS. That should be fine. Now you're going to want to add a new workflow trigger. Now what a trigger is, is basically in order to actually send the SMS, we need um, either a contact list or, you know, a form submitted. So there's two ways you can actually use this SMS blast. The first one is to message people who don't know who you are. So that is called outbound. Now what you'll need is you'll need to upload a contact list to high level in your sub account. Really easy to do. There's probably tutorials elsewhere you can watch to do that. Um, but the other way is to actually, you know, once, some, once someone submits a form, that could be for a free training or for, you know, whatever it may be, then we can also send SMS. So let's actually do the cold outreach because that's what I want to talk about in this video. So you'd go here and you'd want to click contact tag. Now, if you want to send SMS to people who submit a form, then you just go down here to form submitted and you do that. But let's use contact tag. Now, save trigger. Now, once you upload a contact list, it's basically going to send SMS. So first of all, um, what you're going to do is you're going to click send SMS. Now, you basically want to add a message. So for example, it could be hi, uh, you basically do contact first name. So I've just put an example of an offer. I said, hi, first name. We're looking to partner with a few um, yeah, real estate agencies to book 17 qualified leads with no extra work on your end and no upfront cost. Is this something you might be interested in? Really simple, probably don't use this because it's a bit saturated, but I just wanted to provide an example for you guys. And then you click save trigger. Now you want to click uh, wait for reply. So uh, go down here, you basically want to, for, so contact reply, wait for reply on certain steps. Um, you can create a time, but let's just do SMS and then save action. Now you basically want to create an if or else, which is a condition. And you do that by clicking plus and you go for uh, if else. And you want to basically say if prospect replies equals true. Let me just make sure that spelling is correct. So you want to go here and you basically want to go to uh, uh, contact reply, contact replied equals true. So if they reply, it's going to do one action. If they don't reply, it's going to send follow ups. Basically add another branch, copy this. But now we're going to do if contact didn't reply. So equals false. Do the exact same thing. Go down here to contact replied, contact replied, and then click false. Now save action. And as you can see, it's basically created different branches. So what we're going to focus on first is if the contact did respond, then you can either use AI to sort of see if it was a positive or negative response and then see how the workflow continues. So what you do is if possible it replies equals true. Now to make it look more natural and realistic, you can actually wait. So you can put 
let's say wait you know 10 minutes um, save action now instead of just having like an automated text which they can tell you know it's AI or automation you can actually wait to make it look more realistic and then click add now you could either basically get ChatGPT to do a prompt so go here insert a prompt you could say uh, you are an agency looking to work with real estate agents let me spell that right uh, you could say the prospect has responded to the first uh, SMS send a uh, send a message send a text saying um, uh, I'm trying to think um, yeah basically send a text um, and try to book them in for an appointment uh you could say here's my canonly link go here canon name so it sends the canon link now the temperature basically means like how realistic or you know deterministic you want it to be so you can put this i recommend like 0.7 that is usually fine so now um you've sent a prompt to chat gbt to get a response so what you're going to click here is send sms you're going to go here. You're going to go to chat GPT and you're going to click here. Response and then save action. Now you're going to wait. Um, now, yeah, basically you're going to wait now. So you can put wait or actually yeah, let's send an internal notification. And the reason we do this is because if they've got to this stage, then you want to be notified that, you know, a lead has become an engaged lead at this point and is really close to booking appointments. So maybe you could just switch over and just send them a text to make sure they're booked in or this will do it there, uh, you know, so it could be SMS. Let's actually say, uh, hi, user first name. So hi, Charlie, um, this prospect is close to booking a call. And you could even phone them up actually at this point. So you could say, hey, it's Charlie, you know, we just had a conversation on that SMS, just wondering if you want to, you know, get booked in later this week for 20 minutes. You could phone them up, like that's a really powerful way of doing it. Let's save that. Um, so let's just do uh, all users. So that would be the client and you who get a notification, or you could just make it you who gets a notification. So basically now we've done this. Um, so we could actually, I think at this point, we could um, work on the other one. So let's say they don't respond to the initial SMS. What we want to do is you want to chat GPT. You would go here, you would say, um, you sent a previous message, but the prospect hasn't responded. Send a short follow-up message that is less than 14 words to get them interested in our offer. Set this to like 0 0.7, like I said. Set so here you want basically want to send SMS um, response, click save action. Now you're going to wait for a reply. So click wait, go down here to uh, contact replied, select step, SMS, uh, probably call it SMS2, but that's another one. And then basically if they have responded, so you could create a condition. So if or else, and we're doing basically the same thing we did here. Um, so if prospect, can't spell for some reason, has responded, or has replied to follow up equals true. Basically over here, go to contact replied, contact replied equals true. And you're gonna do the exact same thing like I just mentioned here, copy and paste. But this time, just like what we did before, it's going to be false. Boom, contact replied, the wrong thing. 
go here, go to, uh, da, da, da. actually back to actions, I messed that up, contact reply, contact replied equals false, save action, and now if they responded, you can basically just send them, so go to, you can basically go here and you can basically put them up to uh, this one, I believe. And then if they haven't responded, let's uh, do the same thing, go to, and just send them back up to this one. Boom. Okay, so now we've basically got like a contraption of like an absolute machine that is going to book them in because if they don't respond to the SMS at any point, it's going to send this follow up and it's going to send them back here. But if they do respond, it's going to send them to this part and we basically get them booked in for an appointment. That is a basic overview of how it works. Now you can get a lot more creative with this. I just wanted to create a really simple video on how to do this. Um, so yeah, basically you need to create a trigger. Now, if you have got like a VSL or a free training, then you can do the exact same thing, but with a form submitted. So let's delete and go here and click form submitted. So now when someone submits a form, it's basically gonna do the exact same thing. And it's basically like an AI SMS appointment booking bot for you. Like it's crazy. You can get creative with this. I just wanted to give you like inspiration. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Now, quick favor, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subs by the end of the year. Um, that would really help me out. And if you're looking to work with me one to one, you want to scale your agency fast. I've basically got trained appointment setters who book 30 to 60 qualified meetings every single month. I've only got a few of them left. So if you are going to, you know, decided to work with me, then be quick. I'll leave a link in the description. You can book a call with me. Let's have a chat and see if I can help. Um, if not, no worries. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Like, comment and subscribe and take care.